Bye bye bye. Hey hey. Bye bye. Don't bye bye bye. bye. For you. Bye bye. Don't be a fool for you. You might tell me, but you might tell me, but all right. Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Allie Thompson. For those of you who don't know, um, or Happy Bunny ninety two. I'm not really sure how you found me. Or Allie Travels actually. All these names. Um, in today's video, I'm going to show you how I um, pretty much <laughs> made an easy peasy from the package uh, red velvet cupcakes. Now, the packet I bought is actually meant for a uh, cake, but I just made it into cupcakes because it's a lot easier to, to do, I think. Um, and you can take it anywhere you want. You can share with people. You can eat them all by yourself. Um, or you can bring it to like a more festive non-birthday party if you want to. So if you want to know how I did it, continue watching. Also, I, um, with the decoration side of things, obviously, if you wanted to, if you have a piping bag and things like that, you can do a little bit more than I did. Um, the only reason I didn't do it this way was because A, I didn't have a piping bag at the moment. And yes, I know how to make one outside of actually having the little contraption, but I didn't have enough time. Um, plus, I didn't actually have any other ingredients to sort of decorate it nicer other than frosting and strawberries continue watching hope you guys enjoy it don't forget to give it a, thumb, da, 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 a thumbs up subscribe and i will see you guys next week bye yep just like i said it was out of a packet betty crocker or crocker i'm not really sure how to say her name but you empty the packet into a bowl add your ingredients they usually have it on the back of the box um if not if you can't find it on the back of the box, then I'll just put those ingredients in the description below. But it's pretty easy. It's pretty basic. The only difference is, obviously, um, they put into a, put it into a cake tin, whereas I just put it into cupcake holders and stuff, which, you know. Um, I also decided to... I like mixing cake mixes and stuff like that with the whisk rather than um, a spoon just because it gets all the bubbles and uh, gets a bit fluffier and also gets all the lumps out. That's what I meant to say. So yeah, I added two, about two tablespoons each. Um, it's just your average table, I mean, t uh, spoon from your drawer um, into each cupcake holder. And then into the oven they went. Um, you have to keep an eye on them because even though in the back of the my packet it said it would take about 20 to 25 minutes, it only took about 15. Maybe that's just because my oven is special and likes to cook faster. But um, yeah, um, also let them cool down properly uh, as in completely <laughs> because otherwise the frosting will just melt and look like a yucky mess and we don't want that um, also I apologize for this you know clips of me frosting the cupcake where you can't even see me frosting it because my camera was lower down than I thought it was but yeah just frost away I use a cream cheese frosting for this I think red velvet and cream cheese just go really well because red velvet tends to be sort of a very basic flavor and the cream cheese just gives it a bit more oomph. Uh, the strawberry was for more for decoration than anything else, but go ahead and use sprinkles. They will look just fine without anything other than the frosting. But there you go. That's my wonderful strawberry red velvet cupcakes. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I certainly did. Um, and I will see you guys next week. Bye. <laughs> Hurry up and eat that cupcake alley. Eee.